building itself should set an example of a clever passive solar design. 365 days under shading. Clever use of material and systems to reach near zero carbon footprint. With the unique form for its purpose, Sustainable Energy Authority Headquarters won the first place in project competition among well-established practices, expressing the capabilities and opportunities such as solar power generation, daylight, rainwater harvesting and similar environment-friendly systems. The proposed site is at Bath Taramola in the close proximity to the Sri Lankan parliament and the region is becoming the full-fledged administrative capital of Sri Lanka. Cantilevering out building form and the facade elements are designed to welcome the natural ventilation in moderated levels. Furthermore to avoid the microclimate air getting heated, the driveway paving is a combination of soft and the hard landscaping. Central courtyard as well improves the air circulation and the wind turbine support the stack effect by extracting out the heated air in the courtyard. Building form is invented to receive no direct sunlight. Interior is shaded throughout the year. Leaning building form, cantilevering floors and the vertical fins ensure solar shading throughout the year at any day. According to the analysis by LJ Energy, referring building energy benchmarking report 2017 by BCA Singapore, energy user index of an efficient small office building ranges from 120 to 140 kilowatt hours per square meter per year. The estimated energy user index of proposed SLSEA headquarters building without parking spaces considered is 80 kWh per square meters per year and with parking spaces considered it is 53.4 kWh per square meter per year. Basement is used for the effective stack parking and to contain all the mechanical equipment required for the air conditioning, water recycling and electricity supplying. Space is naturally ventilated and lit through the central courtyard. Minimum human circulation paths in the building, percentage of circulation spaces as a proportion to the build-up area, 12.1%. As a passive strategy, the ramp which connects all floors creates an informative avenue with interactive user interface, which improves the knowledge among the visitors regarding the opportunities and potentials of clan energy. Further these access are having the potential for dedicating for different user categories depending on the need of access. This avoids congestion in circulation spaces. Interior design is to maximize the daylight harvesting while arranging the spaces in a radial manner with light color themes. Since most of the spaces in the building is lit through daylight, the artificial lighting to be considered only for additional working hours and to respond to the climatic variations. At these times the interior will be lit with low energy task lights for the required areas to minimize the energy demand. Exhibition space at terrace level, which improves the knowledge among the visitors regarding the opportunities and potentials of clean energy. Animated wind turbine energy element for demonstration purposes as well as a live object which connects all the floors and even the terrace level exhibition space. West-facing ramp. As a passive strategy, the ramp which connects all floors creates an informative avenue with interactive user interface, which improves the knowledge among the visitors regarding the opportunities and potentials of clean energy.
West facade heat barrier, to avoid sun, a green solar paneled facade has been introduced covering the facade as well as to invest on the amount of solar energy falling into the facade. Leaning Building Facade. Each facade has its unique leaning angle catering a shaded spaces from above floor slabs depending on the solar angle. Vertical fins are windows, fins are to cut off direct sunlight and window fabrication is with low E-value fabrication systems which are automated and climatically controlled. All full portion spaces will be air conditioned. Basements, toilets and mechanical room will be mechanically ventilated and all other spaces naturally cross ventilated with draft and stack effects. The building shall use construction material having low embedded energy and materials produced by environmentally sound methods, which will emit the least amount of harmful gases and waste. Without differentiating between the natural environment and the built environment, the building will feature the possibility of becoming a part of the natural environment by blending with the surrounding vegetation and soil structures. Green power or self-containment, the building will attempt to use natural lighting and ventilation and to generate own green power as much as possible, so that there will be marginal exchange of energy between the outside and the building. The building will use very little external energy and will make the maximum use of the resource by employing the latest efficient technologies. Use of utility water and other material resources will be kept to a minimum by employing technologies such as rainwater harvesting, recycling and reclaiming of waste generated by the occupants. The proposed building could employ a state-of-the-art building management and access control system including occupancy sensors etc. to keep the energy demand to a minimum.